You have a prepaid call from an inmate at this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. What up, Wolf? Drew, what's yeah. up, brother? Yeah, man, uh, in 2000, uh, was it 2014? 2013, 2014, actually. Yeah, it was on the uh, Salinas on the uh, C yard, the 180 yard, right? So, yeah. um, Oh, uh, we had a Uso, he was messing up, so we, uh, sent a homie out there, uh, another homie, uh, to go stand him. Gave him a buck knife, a real, one of those real knives, real pocket knife, gave him a, a knife and told him, hey, we can go to the yard, you guys gotta hit that dude. Hit him or hit the Hawaiian homie. Hopefully, uh, there was two homies that was messing up. So instead, the homie goes out. And he starts spraying basketball. Now, when he's, when he's spraying basketball, he doesn't handle his business because there was issues between us and the whites with one of the homies messing up. So we was trying to clean up our house before it escalated to that, right? So we sent a homie out. He goes out with the weapon, stick it in his cup, and he goes spraying basketball. So while everybody's in the building, in the cells, waiting for some kick off, the alarm goes off. Come to find out, instead of the homie handling his business, he gets caught on the basketball court. The woods, they turn around, jump on one of their homies as a decoy. They kill him. Why they killing their own people? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. They, you know, they, they just stabbing him up, killing him. While they're killing him, the other woods come around and they rush uh, the homies that was on the yard. There's like five of them. Well, two of the Vietnamese homies get stabbed in the chest. And uh, uh, the rest of them dudes are on top of the ocean and stuff. So they bring the helicopter. They fly those two dudes out. Fly both of the uh, Vietnamese homies out to the San Jose Medical Center because they got stabbed in the chest, right? So, um, when that, after that, it was full-on war, cold war. It was all sight. Every time that door opened, mandatory, you got to get one of them. So, what the CO's doing, they knew who was going at, who, who was at war with the whites. So, they start selling, they start uh, opening up two sales at a time. Two words, two others. The first, they, uh, Sent out uh, the Asian homies. They sent out the white boys. They go out to the yard. The Asian homies, uh, they take off on the whites. They got them, knocked them both out. So they, you know, they go to the hole. The next day they did it again. They break the doors open. Now, it's the Indian homies. They popped out the American Indian homies that were with us, and they popped out the whites. One of the American Indian homies, they worked on the whites. Put them both in the hospital, too. One of the words, his, uh, his face got crushed in, uh, where his old forehead caved into his head and stuff. So they threw him out. Uh, the third, the army, uh, uh, they popped out Muncy from uh, Riverside, GOSP. He's an uh, uh, old, uh, uh, Carmi, the one I was telling you about when they uh, got into with the sergeant, right? Yeah. They popped him out, and they popped another Uso out. But when the Uso was coming out, the CO said, oh, hell no, we're not letting two Uso out. Uh, they move on to the next show, they let, uh, he was popping out another uh, Asian homie from a different block. But instead, when the Uso, when GK comes out, the Tony homie comes out, the two woods, they're standing outside waiting for him with weapons. So uh, they walk up to the homie, they're like, hey, you, you wanna, you wanna wait until your homie comes out to ride with you, or you wanna do this right now? 
told me homie, say, hey, yeah, let's do it right now. Well, <laughs> they sliced him up. The time homie gets all cut up, sliced up there. You know, but TK at the time was a tongue and homie from a TCG doing the same thing, knocking those two dudes out. So it was all going, all going like that. And finally they said, you know what? We're not going to do this no more. And we told the captain. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. If you want us to stop this war, give us our own bars and our own tables. Because we ain't stopping until we see it outside. And I said, nah, forget that. We're going to send you guys all up to the upper yard. So that's when the homies got separated from the uh, lower yard. We all got we all got moved up to right here to uh, building 7 and 8 and stuff. And uh, ever since, they've been keeping us segregated from the whites on that yard and stuff. But uh, um, we've been going at it with them dudes for a while, man. Off and on, off and on, almost every year. Um, the incident, the incident with the, the, the incident before that was with the, with that homie right there. That was just, was just talking about. Oh. Yeah, and then they try to, they try to move on the homies. The woods kind of got brave. They try to move on the homies on the upper yard, on D yard. But yeah, you know, on D yard, there's only one active building. Is the building we were in. Well, the homies come out, and you got all the whites standing at the homies' pull-up bars and stuff, and it's been sitting on the homies' tables. And, uh, uh <laughs> they wasn't supposed to be there, so the homies already knew. It was like, all right, you guys want to do that? <laughs> you know what, they end up getting chased all over the yard, man. The homies came out, chased all the dudes and stuff, they were running around, but they kept cracking off on both sides and stuff. Yeah, but, uh, when I was in Salinas, we ended up getting that that, uh, that issue fixed and stuff. One of the whites that was involved in uh, getting, uh, getting, uh, uh, putting that uh, battle up, ended up getting a green out on himself and stuff. Whites told us, uh, look, man, we're gonna uh, take care of him. But right now we're at, you know, we're cool and stuff. So we've been kicking like that ever since. But in Salinas, you know, on the, uh, on the B yard, 270, uh, we share the pull-up bars with them dudes, you know? But that's what's been going on now, too. You know, a lot of these dudes that come in, you know, they think they're going to come in and kick back, but it's not even like that. They don't come in. They're going to be, they gonna be uh, obligated to do something. You know, everybody's going to contribute. It don't matter if you're going home or not. If it requires that you catch a case, then... They're going to send you out, man. You know, uh, but if you got somebody that loves you in the car, they'll look out for you, you know? But it's just, it's just crazy, man. Yeah. I've been through that shit for over 20-something years, man, going through the same